Hi, one quick announcement. The date for the California meetup has been finalized and we are going to Disneyland. I tallied up everyone's responses and you guys chose Disneyland. So that's where we're going. The date is October 21st, which is a Saturday. And I will share more details about it as we get closer to that date. But make sure you check the post under the community tab. Confirm that you will be able to attend. And I look forward to hanging out with you guys at Disneyland on October 21st. All right, guys, that's it on my quick announcement. I am making beef stew, so let's get into it. I'm starting off with one pound of fresh beef chuck rolls. I've already cut it up. I'm going to season it with seasoned salt, onion powder, and black pepper, and then I'm also going to add some delicious onions to it. If you are feeding a family of four, cook two pounds. This serving here is enough for two people. So you want to add a generous amount of seasoning to your meat. And then rub it all in. I'm going to cook this on the stove top instead of my crock pot. You can also slow cook it in a crock pot if you want it to. But I'm going to use the stove top today. So I got the seasoning all mixed in and I'm going to add some onions to it. And the trick to um, juicy, <laughs> the trick to juicy pot roast is to cook it slow. For each pound, I recommend that you cook it for one hour. I'm going to cook mine a little bit longer. I check it at one hour and see how tender it is because I want my pot roast to fall apart. And I also want it to be juicy. The longer that you cook it, the juicier that it'll be. So if you are cooking pot roast and you notice that it is still tender, cook it a little bit longer so that you have that delicious, juicy, juicy your meat. So now that my meat is all seasoned, I'm going to add it to the pot. Turn my burner down on low. And I'll go ahead and add the rest of these onions. Makes it taste so delicious. Okay. I'll let that slow cook for one hour. I'll come back and chop up the rest of my ingredients, add it to the pot, and then I'm also going to cook some cabbage. I wanted to cook some cornbread, but I am out of milk, so I couldn't cook cornbread which pairs nicely with this dish so yeah no cornbread today all right I'll be back in one hour it's been a little bit over an hour so I'm going to check my meat and see how we're doing I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer, probably about 30 minutes, which is plenty of time to get the cabbage started and cut up the rest of my ingredients. So I'm not going to add the potatoes, carrots, and peas just yet. I'm going to work on the cabbage and then come back to that because it needs to cook a little bit longer. For my cabbage, I have some onions. I'm going to season it with black pepper, salt, and I'm going to add some bacon bits to it. My potato, I'm going to season with seasoned salt and black pepper. For my beef stew, I'm going to add in some carrots, potatoes, and then I have some frozen peas here. If you want the complete recipe, check the description box below. I'm running out of room on this small countertop, but I'm making it work. So I had some cabbage the other day and I only used half of it. So now I'm cooking the other half. If you guys are wondering where the other half of my cabbage is. I'm going to move this over here because I feel like it's going to slide off the counter and I don't want to lose my cabbage. <laughs> so whenever you guys make beef stew, do you have any side dishes with it or do you just eat it as is since it already has the peas, the carrots, and potatoes in it? I love it with cornbread, but not today. I lost my trash bag. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so 
So how many of you guys tried my chili recipe? I was surprised to hear how many of you have never heard of a Frito pie. You have to give it a try. It's delicious. Let me know how you like a Frito pie. But for those of you that tried the chili, how did you like it? Comment below. I want to know. Cabbage is chopped. Clean up my mess. So I have some salt and black pepper for my cabbage, and then I'm also going to add some onions. And once the um, cabbage cooked down, I'll be able to stir this up, but right now I'm going to have to leave it as is. Only, <laughs> only have two lids. Don't y'all talk about me for putting this foil on my cabbage. I only have two lids, the smaller one here, and then I have the larger lid, which I'm using it. So I had to compromise and put some foil on here. Don't you come for me. You can laugh, but don't come for me. <laughs> I got to do what I got to do. So I'll let that cook down for a minute. I'm going to leave the skin on my potatoes. It's a personal preference. Sometimes I take it off, sometimes I don't. And today, I'm not going to peel it off. And for the potatoes, I'm seasoning with some seasoned salt and a little bit of black pepper. You can leave the carrots whole like this or you can chop them up, the personal preference. I wish you guys can smell this food. It smells delicious and I'm not just saying that because I'm cooking it, which I am a great cook. It does smell good. <laughs> it smells good and it always tastes delicious. That's it on the carrots and the potatoes. 
Let me check on my meat. Y'all laughing at my aluminum form? <laughs> okay. The meat is done, so I'm going to add in the potatoes, the carrots, and the peas. Get in there. Now the peas. In about 20 minutes, dinner will be served. I'm going to let those potatoes slow cook before I add in the final ingredient. And then I still need to let my cabbage cook as well. For my final ingredient, I am going to add in some brown gravy. You can add in stew season if you want to. I like using brown gravy. And you can also make gravy out of flour the old school way. But I am going with brown gravy. Trust me, it is delicious. So if you have been using stew seasoning, try brown gravy and see how you like like it for those of you that make stew do you use stew seasoning or do you use brown gravy comment below I want to know so the cabbage is starting to cook down where I can mix it up get those onions mixed in If you want to spice up your cabbage, you can add some jalapeno juice to it or you can add a, a few pieces of jalapenos, uh, chopped up jalapenos. Today is Sunday, February 5th. Fingers crossed I get this video edited and out to you today. If not, you guys are watching it on Monday. I'm trying very hard to get back on the Sunday schedule. I had a very busy week. It was a great week, but it was a busy week. I was processing orders on my new glass cups. Thank you to everyone that has made a purchase. I appreciate your support. As of today, everyone's order has been shipped out, except for Veronica. I just received your order, so I would drop it in the mail on Monday. But everyone else, your orders have been shipped out. See that most 
most of you guys are receiving your orders tomorrow so I'm excited about that thank you again for the support thank you thank you the link to my website is in the description box of this video so please go ahead and check that out and have fun shopping all right guys I'm gonna take another break <laughs> and I will be back in about 20 minutes and I add the gravy to my stew almost burnt my cabbage out <laughs> Ooh, I did cabbage is done <laughs> it's well done I overcooked my cabbage <laughs> When I turn off camera, I started editing this video because I'm hoping to get it out today. Like I said, today is Sunday and I would love to get it out today. So I was trying to edit the first half of it and overcook my cabbage. All right, so cabbage is completely done. So I'm going to cover it up for now. All I did was add some butter to it. I'm going to take it off the burner so it stops cooking. And for my stew, like I mentioned earlier, you can use flour to make your gravy, but I am using brown gravy. I love it. It tastes so delicious. That's what I'm going with. I didn't follow the direction that's on the gravy package because I don't want to add more water to my stew. There's enough water in it and if, if I would have added the gravy mix to the one cup of water and then add it to my stew, it would have been too watery. All I did pour it in and make sure that I stir it up good. So comment below, do you guys use gravy mix for your stew? Do you use stew seasoning or do you go the old school way and make it with flour? Comment below. I want to know. I forgot in my last video to show you guys a picture of my food. I think that was Walter that reminded me <laughs> that I did not post a picture. I'm sorry. I was rushing through the ending of that video, picked up my bowl, started eating, and forgot to show you guys a picture of it. Well, I had some leftovers the next day, so I will insert a picture of my Frito pie, but I totally forgot about that. But I won't forget to show you today. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you give my recipe a try, please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.